where where do you start um well first of first of all it's it's just it so vindicating i guess is the word to a, a feeling that the bbc seem to be getting their song choices right now um like this is the kind of song that's been all over the charts for the last few years yeah so to, so to hear a song like this that's going to it's going to bring the party and that isn't safe and that doesn't 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 sound you know made for eurovision it's just so refreshing um the fact that it's the the, the host country's entry and we've received um the honor of closing the final it's i know gonna, <laughs> i can't believe it it's just going to be an amazing party atmosphere. Um, May Muller rocks. Um, she's she's great. Um, I, I hope I hope we do well. But if, even if we don't, um, you know, she's doing us proud. And I just hope that the public at large, you know, keep the momentum up and the good mood about Eurovision. And if we don't win or come second don't start moaning again <laughs> yeah <laughs> um yeah i just want to bring up the point that um uh, when the song was first released i saw a couple of older um uk eurovision fans go oh this sounds a lot like jordan's national final entry from what was it 2005 or whatever um and I'm uh, like, what and i'm like like you're really showing your age and that you clearly haven't been listening to the radio the last couple of years because a lot of female pop stars in the UK are doing songs like this so um yeah oh it just, yeah it just kind of shows how clueless they are <laughs> and they probably don't listen to much music outside of Eurovision <laughs> um but um <laughs> but yeah um this been a bit of an unfair hatred towards this song from certain sections of the fandom like especially when it was first released because people thought that a certain other singer was getting selected but oh, it wasn't but goes to show that you should not listen to uk tabloids like ever <laughs> mm -hmm. um and like when a song came out and I listened to it, I was like, "Oh my god, this is actually really cool! I enjoyed it." And then I go online and people are slagging it off, and I'm like, "Wait, what? Do we listen to the same song?" <laughs> and um, recently, people have been slagging off her live performances because they haven't been like note perfect and saying she can't sing and stuff like that. Can I just point out that I've seen videos of. Uh, May singing other songs and she has a beautiful voice so I implore you to check out l live videos of her on, on on YouTube or whatever just so maybe it's just the style of song because there's a lot of speak singing in it I don't know but um hey and and this is another point okay so because a lot of people like overreact when singers aren't note perfect in the pre-parties okay i've seen some singers completely bomb in the pre-parties and then fast forward to the eurovision stage they knocked it out of the park so don't get all um a fatalistic now okay just wait and see what happens and i've got faith that um they're going to knock it out of the park with this one so um i'm hoping that we can get a pretty good result and um uh, the song seems to be doing pretty well in the euro jury spoilers so maybe we could get another top 10 who knows but um yeah, I really enjoyed this song, and um, yeah, I'm happy that this is um, representing the um, co-hosts, technically. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm still getting over the Katie Price comparisons. I mean, oh my god. I know! It's so so ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> Just vote for me! <laughs> um, yeah, also... Um, yeah, May did a whole set at the uh, London Eurovision party, and she was fab. 
Thank you. <laughs>